Tupelo, Mississippi is best known for being the birthplace of Elvis Presley. As such, it won't be surprising that it boasts a ton of great attractions that pay homage to the king himself. This ranges from his birthplace, to the various murals painted of him, to the diner where he ate as a child. But Tupelo is a lot more than simply a museum for Elvis. It's a vibrant and lovely city that hosts various attractions, restaurants, museums, and historic sites. Stick around as Vucation presents the best things to do in Tupelo, Mississippi. Elvis Presley Birthplace Fans of The King will tell you all about their trip to Graceland, the legendary home of Elvis. But the biggest Elvis fans will probably be even more moved by a visit to the house where he was born. On January 8, 1935, Presley entered the world in this modest home in Tupelo. His dad built the home with his own two hands, and the process only cost him 180 bucks. These days, the house has been transformed into a mecca and a museum of all things Elvis. The house itself sits as the primary building within Elvis Presley Park. Within the boundaries of the park include the building where Elvis and his family went to church every week. And perhaps more importantly, it's the place where he was exposed to Southern gospel music, which heavily influenced his writing and performing in later years. We recommend jumping on the Grand Tour, which grants you access to all the buildings on the property. This includes the Elvis Presley Museum, the chapel, and the birthplace building. The museum tells the tale of Elvis's life and boasts some of the outfits he wore on stage, a famous statue called Becoming, and more. It's a great place to check out, regardless of your level of love for the king. Bike Around Town you won't be surprised to find out that the city of Tupelo has more attractions dedicated to Elvis than simply the Birthplace Museum. There are some great spots all over you can check out, and doing it on a bike is a fantastic method. If you're staying at Hotel Tupelo, you can actually check a bike out for the day free of charge, but there are also other rental spots in the area. Biking through a city is a great way to see it, since you can maneuver in spaces that cars can't while taking it at a pace that's quicker than walking. Some great Elvis-relevant spots to check out while on a self-guided bike tour of Tupelo include the Lee County Library, notable because it's where the king got his very first library card, as well as Tupelo Hardware Company. It's a store where Elvis's grandmother bought him his first guitar. And you can also pop down in Johnny's Drive-In for a meal and a story about how you sat in the very booth where Elvis gobbled down his favorite diner meals. Natchez Trace Parkway if biking isn't really your thing, you might want to seek out some of the best drives in the area. And there's no better place to cruise than the Natchez Trace Parkway. Of course, at 444 miles in length, it obviously covers far more ground than simply Tupelo and the surrounding area. But if you're coming to town from Tennessee, Alabama, or other parts of Mississippi and want to head to Tupelo, this parkway is one of the best routes to take. It's called the Natchez Trace Parkway because it runs along the old Natchez Trace. This was a corridor that the Native Americans in the region used for travel. So as you drive around this incredibly scenic and photo-worthy road, you can imagine you traveled back to the pre-automobile era and are making the journey with a local tribe. When you hit milepost 266, you'll want to park and check out the Natchez Trace Parkway Visitor Center. It's full of interactive exhibits about the region and its history. Plus, there are a bunch of great hiking trails that start there, so if you're looking for some exercise to break up a long car ride, you can pop on your hiking boots and head out from there. At milepost 261.8, there's also a great Chickasaw Heritage Center where you can learn more about the history of the local people. Oren Dunn City Museum Located in Ballard Park, the Oren Dunn City Museum is a great place to learn about the history of Tupelo as well as the region that surrounds it. There's a focus on the Chickasaw tribe and how it played a large role in establishing the early history of the city. It also shows exhibits about the famous Battle of Tupelo, a civil war battle that saw 1,326 killed and wounded soldiers from the Union and Confederacy. There's also info about the cyclone of 1936 that tore up the area, as well as discussions of the momentous accomplishments in the area of the fields of agriculture and industry. Train enthusiasts will enjoy checking out their model railroad as well as their stationary train car. And there are a variety of other exhibits featuring dioramas, fossils, and more. Plus, if you're in town in May, you can head to the Oren Dunn City Museum to join in the festivities of the Duty Burger Festival. And if you're there in October, you'll be able to check out the annual Dog Trot Festival. Mill Village and the Frisco Caboose History lovers will enjoy taking a walk around Mill Village, the historic district of the city. It's centered around a historic cotton mill which was constructed in 1901. 
It stopped functioning as a mill in 1937, but the building still stands. These days, it's primarily used as an event venue and tourist attraction, but simply walking the area containing the old mill is worthy of your time. It has many old buildings that house local businesses, gorgeous hand-painted murals, as well as railroad tracks. Speaking of railroads, if you're a train lover, you'll dig the old caboose that sits alone near the old mill. Train aficionados refer to it as a BN caboose in Frisco colors. There's nothing in particular that ties it to Tupelo history that we know of, but it's a really cool and random site that you'll enjoy getting up on your Instagram page. Tupelo Buffalo Park and Zoo when you're ready to see some animals, there's no better place in Tupelo than the Tupelo Buffalo Park and Zoo. What's extra cool about this spot is they've placed a particular focus on exhibiting animals that locals wouldn't otherwise get a chance to see in Mississippi. This means you can check out a camel, a white tiger, and some ring-tailed lemurs. There are also yaks, capuchin monkeys, African lions, and much more. We recommend hitting up the Monster Bison Bus, which is a guided tour that takes you in and around the Buffalo Park. There, you'll get a chance to spot some endangered and rare animals like Watusi cattle, buffalo, and zebras, among others. While on the tour, the guides will give you a great lesson on the park's past, as well as fun facts about buffalo and other animals. Check out the street murals. Tupelo has developed into one of the best cities for street murals in the entire South. On myriad streets around the city, you'll find walls covered in incredible art from local artists. Of course, since it's the home of Elvis's birthplace, a lot of the art is Elvis-centric, so any Elvis fans will be able to get their fill of mural photos featuring the king. There's one that's become super famous. It has a drawing of Elvis and says, Greetings from Tupelo. It was created by a graffiti artist named Ryan Christensen, who created it while he was in town for the local Elvis festival. But the art in town isn't strictly limited to Elvis-based. There are picture-worthy pieces all over, and it's worth spending an afternoon trying to check them all out. The Farmer's Depot In downtown Tupelo sits the Farmer's Depot, an open-air farmer's market that's generally open from May to October. It's a great spot to walk around and visit the many vendors offering local produce, flowers, and handmade baked goods. You can either walk and simply taste the local food or grab an assortment of ingredients to take back to where you're staying and cook a meal. Or perhaps you're more in the mood for a picnic, in which case the Farmer's Depot is the perfect spot to grab the picnic necessities. One cool and more unusual aspect of this farmer's market is they offer both cooking classes for adults as well as activities tailored to kids as well. So you could legitimately spend several hours there. It's not open every day, however. You can head to the Farmer's Depot on Tuesdays from 3 to 6 and Saturdays between 6 and noon. And on the first Saturday of the month, you can enjoy live music. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Tupelo, Mississippi? If so, did we miss any of your favorites? If not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.